Peace, family. It's your brother, Mark Lamont Hill. Diddy, also known as Sean Combs, no longer owns Ciroc. In a settlement that was reached today with the Diageo company, Diddy no longer has an ownership stake in the company. He no longer has ownership of the De Leon tequila brand or the Ciroc vodka brand. This is a big deal. As you know, for months, uh, Diddy and the company Diageo have been at war. Diddy said that they didn't make the proper investments in the company. He said that they have treated it as an inferior urban brand and that they simply haven't delivered as promised. The company, of course, clapped. Back. They said it was not racism. It was nothing to do with that. Diddy is simply making frivolous lawsuits to extort us out of billions of dollars. Now, if you know the relationship, Diddy signed a deal to promote Ciroc back in 2007, and then he uh, purchased De Leon uh, with Diageo in a partnership in 2013. Diddy says the problem started when Diageo bought two competing tequila brands, Don Julio in 2014 and Casamigos in 2017. Now, Diageo owns hundreds of brands, including uh, Guinness Beer, Tangeray Gin. They own lots of stuff. So it wasn't the only thing they bought, but it was eyebrow raising that they would buy competing companies. And so Diddy felt like the company wasn't invested in the product and they were undermining his success. So again, he said that it was uh, racism. He said that the company thought that he should just be a spokesperson basically, and that they resented him for making too much money, that he was doing too good. Uh, they said that uh, they were doing their job and they were simply putting the liquor where it was strategically uh, supposed to be. He said, no, y'all just trying to keep this liquor in a black neighborhood and it is racist. That was the breakdown. But as they're going back and forth in court, Diddy gets hit with some major charges. I think you heard these charges. Of course, Cassie uh, alluded to them and then uh, Cassie actually didn't allude to them. <laughs> Cassie made a very public statement. She released a 35 page document that broke down all the allegations that she was levying against Sean Combs, also known as Diddy. She made it very, very clear that she was going to sue Puff for a lot of money when they couldn't reach a private settlement. Within 24 hours of the document being released, or a little less than 48 hours, they reached a very large, still undisclosed settlement. But Diddy's reputation took a hit that it has yet to recover from. And in the aftermath of those uh, allegations, multiple other allegations other lawsuits, other people made claims against Diddy at the same time, many of those which are still ongoing. So with Diddy facing all of these charges, with Diddy facing all of these allegations, I should say, now the company has a strong bargaining position and Diddy has no leverage. So they went back to the table. They agreed to withdraw their lawsuits from each other. And they've decided now to reach a settlement where Diddy will no longer have ownership of these companies. He no longer represents those brands. So Ciroc, which is the thing that all of us know because of Diddy, no longer has Diddy connect to it, connected to it. Uh, De Leon, which was growing, no longer has Diddy connected to it. For the companies, that's a win because they weren't interested in paying Puffy what he wanted, and two, because his, his reputation has taken such a hit. Is that the only thing that's withdrawn from Puffy? We saw Macy's pull Sean John, Sean John out of stores. We saw uh, Revolt kind of push him to step down as director. Uh, all of these things are happening as Diddy's facing these charges, facing these allegations, facing uh, this scrutiny, facing this negative publicity. Uh, something's got to give. At some point, we'll get some resolution. At some point, the people who are accusing him will get justice. If uh, he's found guilty. If not, then then he'll find some sense sort of relief in court with them, probably. But all of that will get wrestled with later. Right now, it seems that the sky hasn't stopped falling for Diddy. And the disconnection of him from these companies is a sign that things aren't going too well. But everybody's innocent until pro proven guilty in court. So we're not making any allegations or any claims that Puffy is guilty. We're only saying that right now it's not looking good from a public relations or a business standpoint. But we'll keep you covered here on Mark Lamont Hill official YouTube channel for, with more information about what's going on with Puff, with much more information about what's going on with these brands, and even most importantly, what's going on with these accusers. So stay here. Also hit the like button if you like what we're talking about. Hit the subscribe button if you want to join the channel. And that little bell so that you can get updates all the time when we release new content, which is every single day. All right, family. We'll see you later. Peace.